Hello souls, welcome back. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much for all your support, especially on my last video. Um, it's going so well and I wanted to thank you all for your support because it really means the world to me and to see that you really enjoy my videos warms my heart so much because I love doing this and yeah. So I'm just gonna dive in into today's video and if I'm going to look down a bit it's because I have some notes on my phone but today's video is about what I would wear this fall slash winter and basically what I think is going to be in or a bit trendy this fall but I do want to say that if something becomes a trend doesn't mean you have to follow it of course you you're still your own person with your own personality and a lot of the time I don't really follow trends because I don't like to follow trends because that means a lot of people will wear it too and I just like to wear things that not a lot of people wear but with that I also wanted to say that there's always a way to bend certain trends like if you are into following trends a bit more or you just like to be in trend I guess um, there are always ways to bend it to your own personal style to make it more you and I just wanted to say that real quick because yeah I know there are a lot of people that really really follow trends and there's nothing wrong with that but there's also nothing wrong with not following trends and this is just my opinion of what I'm going to wear I don't know yet if it's going to be a trend but this is just my style what I feel comfortable in wearing and yeah just wanted to say that real quick I don't really know where to start okay so I'm gonna start with shoes because it's just one specific thing that I'm going to wear a lot it are these kind of snow boots I really want the, <laughs> want the easy ones when they come out I'll show a picture because I really love the design of it um, but I also have already a pair I bought these recently these black ones and I love them so much even though they are like two sizes too big no, five sizes too big they're five sizes too big they don't fall off I love the bulkiness of it because it is so many sizes too big. I actually think that's something that's going to come back because snow boots have been out of trend for a really long time, in my opinion. Um, and then going further, I think these kind of like these beanies or these balak balaklava balaklavas. If I'm saying that right, I'm not sure um, pronunciation. But I think those are going to really come back this year, which I love because it's cozy, it's warm. It gives your outfit more of an edge without really being edgy or more mysterious, in my opinion. And I love that look so much. And I just love to cover up my old face. I'm not gonna lie. And that's why I'm probably gonna wear these a lot. I hope you're not really hearing the rain too much. Okay, so something else that I wanted to say is about color combos. So I'm not really a colorful person in general, but I just really love toned down colors like earthy colors, um, beiges, browns, black, white, cream. Um, I really have been enjoying the combination of like cream with brown or like brown with like a very muted red color. I think it's just really a soft touch of color. I love that more than very bright screaming colors because I just get tired of seeing those pieces then and I know I won't end up wearing them that much and I just know that if I buy something in a more neutral color it's going to be more wearable during several seasons than a colorful piece because color is most of the time also like a seasonal thing you know and then also what I really love is this kind of distressed shredded kind of knit so like um, turtlenecks that are like all shredded up or like or like shirts that are like shredded up with like patches of more shredded fabric on top of those if that makes sense um, I really love these kind of 
knitted skirts as well, like these kind of sweater material skirts um, that are short with then very big boots, like very baggy or like chunky masculine boots, you know, with then a very short skirt and then a cropped sweater or something like that. That's something I would really wear this um, fall and winter. Also, leg warmers and hand warmers definitely 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 i'm gonna wear this so much because i've always been into them and yeah that's something i'm actually really glad that it came back as a trend because i love to see leg warmers and hand warmers on people it's so cute it's so mm. i can't describe it <laughs> i just have a real big passion for it as you can tell yeah i just would wear a lot of like distressed knits in general or like these kind of knitted sweaters that are more like sleeves you know and like very oversized and bulky i really love bulky knits as well because it just adds a lot of texture to your outfit and also it keeps you warmer even though it is like a cropped piece for example yeah and then also what i really am enjoying lately is like more like body fitting clothes because i've been wearing baggy clothes for years now and i enjoy it like i really enjoy my baggy clothes but lately i'm just trying again to embrace my body to to be happy with what i have and just be thankful for it you know because you just have one body you know so why not take care of it and embrace it and accentuate it you know so that's why I've been also more into more fitted pieces and like layering with fitted pieces. So like a tight top with like something else tied on top of that. You know, it like I'll give you a vision of it, what I mean. Um, I'm coming with that. I also like these kind of pointed heels. I really have loved them for like a long time to be honest. But recently I really see that I'm very drawn to them or like pointy kind of boots and stuff like that and also for kind of materials because i don't think people talk a lot about materials when they talk about these trend things so of course knits you know that's probably something people wear in fall or winter but also i really like this kind of like um the squishy raincoat kind of fabric those like in pants or like tops and really structured pieces and like cohorts like that and like two pieces you know i really love that also kind of like this windbreaker material i really love that as well i just really love like structured or like very distressed kind of <laughs> fabrics so it's like, or it's very structured, or it's like, I look like I just came out of a war, all shredded up, <laughs> basically. So yeah, like I said, like really, really big sweaters as well, like with very big, very big sleeves. I really love big sleeves, not tight sleeves. I don't know, I just feel more comfortable in that and more like cozy and stuff. And yeah, I think I have talked about everything now. Also, what I really love to do in fall and winter because I love to wear skirts but some and dresses, but sometimes it's too cold to just um, wear it with some tights or something like that. So then I just wear pants under my skirts and dresses. Or even if you have like dresses that are like a bit too short to wear on its own, you can just put a pants underneath it and it looks so good. And I really love that to be honest to like mix and match, try new things out, even like wearing your top like a skirt can be a vibe or like your sweater as a skirt, you just have to like kind of judge around and try new things out and yeah that's just the most, that's something I like to do the most to be honest when something like a new season comes to just try new things out that I think people haven't done yet, you know, because I just like to be <laughs> innovative to be honest oh and as last thing of course I'm gonna wear like asymmetrical things 
like this jacket that I made. Um, if you want to know more about it, I showed it in my last video. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for today. And I hope you liked it. And if so, feel free to like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I'm just so grateful for you guys because I have a feeling that we're already like a cute, small, wholesome community. And that really warms my heart. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!